हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय वीडियो सीरीज ऑन बायो मॉलिक्यूल्स आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग माय वीडियोस एंड वाचिंग देम रेगुलरली सो फार आई हैव डिस्कस्ड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मोनोसेकेराइड्स वीवर्स दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी शॉर्ट बट इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर कंसेप्चुअल डेवलपमेंट सी इन द इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विश टू explain the structures of oligosaccharides and polysaccharides but uh, before that it's extremely important for you to get familiarity with how these structures are drawn uh, as i explained in previous video that carbohydrates are represented in uh, two patterns one are open chain structures which are called fisher projections and other are closed chain closed ring structures which are called havert structures so in oligosaccharides and poly polysaccharides i'll be using havert structures and uh, you should know exactly how a fisher projection can be converted into havert representation so in this video which is which is going to be a short one you will see how these two ty types of structures can be interconverted so first i'll start with uh, the structure that is most familiar to you so now let us see how we interconvert this fisher and havert structure in case of glucose first uh, see this is See, this is D-glucose, in open chain structure. As you know that it, this is numbered like this. This is put carbon one, is two, three, four, five, and this is carbon six. Now, when it forms closed structure, then it can form either. it either forms this structure which is alpha d glucose and numbering is like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 and, and alternatively it forms this is you see this is beta d glucose if you want you can write d plus beta d beta d plus glucose uh 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is the numbering of carbon atoms so as you see that in in alpha form h is on left left side and oh is on is on the right side on carbon 1 whereas in beta form h is on right side on carbon 1 and oh is on the left side just pay attention to this position now if we convert these two structures into havert representation then what happens you watch it carefully if i convert these two fisher structures into havert structures
and let us number it this is carbon 1 2 3 4 5 similarly 1 2 3 4 5 now you see carefully in this alpha form here i am going to draw alpha alpha d plus glucose in havarth form so you see carefully this h h will be on the top here it is on left here it is on top oh is on right and oh is down on carbon 1 similarly on carbon 2 h here and oh here means h is on left here it is on top oh is on right here it is on down now see in carbon 3 the orientation is opposite to that of carbon 2 so here h is down oh is up here oh is on left and h is on right on carbon 4 again here it is on left but here it is on top and oh is on bottom and in the last you see h is on left here but here h is in h is down and ch2h you see this is position number 6 so similarly we can draw the this structure is similar to this structure except on carbon 1 you see here oh is down and sorry h is h is down and oh is, and the rest of the structure is same just like this and this is carbon 6 and this is beta d plus glucose so what you see what is important when you compare the two structures that see in case of uh, carbon 1 2 3 and 4 uh, the groups which are on left in fisher structure are on top in havarth structure and vice versa means the groups which are on right in fisher structures in case of carbon 1 2 3 and 4 they are down in havarth structure but the situation is opposite in case of carbon 5 in case of carbon 5 the groups which are on left they are on bottom in havarth structure and vice versa now here i give you a very useful key uh, that is uh, useful for inter converting fisher projections into havarth structures so what i just said i have summarized it here and uh, you see that in case of c1 c2 c3 and c4 what is left in fisher projection becomes up in havarth structure and what is right in fisher projection becomes down in havarth structure uh, but in case of c5 the situation reverses means what is left in fisher projection becomes down in havarth structure and vice versa now you want you may wonder what why it happens so so just to develop your intuition i have drawn a hypothetical structure uh, taking these markers so i have taken red triangles on left side of fisher structure and uh, green circles on right and to differentiate carbon 6 i have taken a uh, green rectangle so you see that what is on left means red triangles are on left in this fisher projection but they are on top in havarth structure in case of 1 2 and 3 and 4 carbon but in case of fifth carbon this thing reverses the situation becomes opposite to carbon 1 2 3 and 4 uh, you can easily see here why it happens so this happens because the ring rotates so once something something is straight and when you rotate it when you curve it on to itself 
then the position becomes reverse means what is left becomes right so that's why the behavior of carbon 1 2 3 and 4 is different from the behavior of carbon 5 uh, now let us apply the aforesaid rules to fructose structure uh, and this is what we get uh, as i explained in a previous video that in case of fructose as you see that this is the open chain structure uh, and fructose is ketose sugar uh, so here we get two two anomers this is alpha d minus fructose and this beta d minus fructose and as you see that uh, they differ from each other with respect to anomeric carbon here in alpha this is down and this coh is up in case of uh, beta d minus fructose and all the remaining rules that i explained in case of glucose hold here also means what is on left in fischer projection is on top in havert projection in case of carbon 1 2 3 and 4 here in fructose carbon 1 is not involved so in case of carbon 2 3 and 4 what i said in glucose in in case of carbon 1 2 3 and 4 is true for carbon 2 3 and 4 excluding carbon 1 and carbon 5 is opposite to the remaining carbon the same thing that was said in case of glucose also holds in case of fructose and always uh, remember that since we are drawing d forms so in case of all d forms this on carbon 5 this ch2 ch2oh group will be on top you see ch2oh group will be always on top so if ch2oh group is on top then it means it's a d sugar so as i explained this is a very uh, very important uh, concept because in future videos we will be drawing the structures of oligosaccharides and polysaccharides and in those structures we will be using haworth structures so unless you know the proper naming convention proper sign convention for drawing structures then you will get everything messed up so before you uh, go to oligosaccharides and polysaccharides you should brush up these concepts 